A 24-hour time tracker will change the way you see your time. It will show you where you are using it, where you are losing it, where you are wasting it. And so I wanna walk you through this really quickly. There are two steps to this process. For one week, you're going to track your time. Literally, throughout your day, just write down what you are doing in the slots, and I'll explain those in a second. The second thing you're going to do is get another one of these, a blank one, and put it next to the one that you have tracked, and then plan your time. Looking at how you're spending your time, write down how you would want to spend your time. What could you move around? What could you get rid of? What do you need to add to get to where you want to be? So let's walk through it. A 24-hour time tracker, this one specifically that you can download, is just the days of the week up top, and then the hours of the day down the side. And the way that this one works is you've got little 30 minute increments throughout the day, okay? So like this starts at 12 a.m. and then that little half line is gonna be 12.30 and then obviously that's 1 a.m. there and moving down, all right? So essentially for me, as an example, I went to bed around nine to 10 o'clock last night. I probably fell asleep somewhere around um, 9.30 or 10. So I could block off this little section of time right here and color that in for sleep and then what I would do is come over to the top of Tuesday and I know that I slept in till 4 a.m. right around here. So I could block off this time and say that I slept. And then I got up at 4 and from 4 to like 4.37, so basically 5 o'clock, I was posting on Flip, responding to comments on Flip, checking the school community to see how that's doing. And I was doing all of that between that timeline. And then sometime around, um, I guess actually no, until like five to 5.30. Now see, I, I wasted some time between five and 5.30. I got a little distracted. Um, I was scrolling, I was posting some videos across other platforms. I ended up scrolling for a little bit. So I gotta be careful with that. But around 5.30, I went out for a five mile run got that done so I could write that down, came back, took a shower, got cleaned up, and then I started planning this video. So that's what I was doing between that timeline, all right? Now, obviously, I'm gonna have to get ready and go to work, and then I'm gonna have to work, and then I've got my lunch time somewhere between 11 and 12, and then obviously, we'll get back into work for a little while, and then I go home, and I've got this block of time that I can work with. And if you will track your time honestly, and I mean be ruthlessly honest with your time, don't try and fudge stuff and be like, well, I was working on that for an hour when really it was more like 42 minutes. Like that 18 minutes that you threw away, that's, that's big, especially if you're tight on time, okay? Now, if you will track your time honestly for one week, it takes you a little bit of time for a week, but once you've got that tracked, then you do this again, but you plan it. And so you look at this, you go, shoot, man, this week, like this is how it went. What could I do to make this differently to get to where I want to be? And you just have to decide how much getting where you want to be matters to you. If, if you're like, you know what, I'm okay if I make it or don't make it, then you maybe just keep doing what you're doing. But if you really want to get somewhere successful, if you have a goal in mind, change the way you're spending your time. You're going to have to learn to say no to most things. And then you're going to say yes to the things that are most likely to get you to where you want to be. And so I have found this, I do this like once or twice a year. I do not do this very often, but once or twice a year, I will get out one of these trackers and I'll just track my time for a week. And what it will do is it will expose any habits that I have casually developed that I am regularly throwing time, where I'm regularly throwing time away. And then I will take that and I will rewrite a new thing and I will say, this is how I want to spend my time based on my new goals and where I'm trying to get to. Okay, so this is a download just in the link below. If you're not in the school community for whatever reason, you're somehow seeing this video, then um, come check out my school community. It's at flippingliving.com. I'm trying to help people be more successful creating content on Flip, which is a new platform. And it's awesome. If you're already there, then that's great. And I highly recommend doing this for two weeks. Track it, plan it, and then go. Let's keep having fun, and I'll see you in the next one.